Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to reduce plagiarism in your research article and also how to use paraphrasing tools wisely to reduce your plagiarism in your research article. Especially uh, as we have discussed in many videos, we are going to use many AI tools to prepare to support our research article preparation. So AA, article, AA tools can also generate plagiarism. So how we can detect the plagiarisms in AA generated content and also how you can reduce the plagiarism due to that AA related content in your research article. So this is a video which is will be very useful for you to make a research article without plagiarism. Let, go, let us go on to today's video. These are some of the important teams how to reduce plagiarism. First thing is that write your in write in your own words. So just write your content, try to write your content in your own words. So it may be right or wrong, grammatically correct or not. So don't bother about it. So if you have a concept in your mind, just try to write in your own words. That's it. That is the first thing you have to reduce the plagiarism. Second one is that you have to make citations properly. Whenever using a content in your research article, you have to cite that properly. So regarding citations, we will make a brief video later on. This is an important point. Next one, use the paraphrasing tools. So the main paraphrasing tools, what we are going to discuss in today's video is that Quillboat and Paraphraser and how to check grammatically using that quillboat and paraphraser also. Let us go on for today's video. So just to open our chat GPT. So just to click on that, explain briefly about PV panel. Just to click on that, chat GPT will create content regarding that PV panel. This is the content generated using chat GPT. This is a A generated content. Just copy that. Go on to Google. Just click on A A content director. So in that, this is the site you will get writer.com. So it will be open. Just you can copy the content you get through your chat GPT. Just click analyze the content. So it is giving that it is 46 percentage only human generated content. Now we are going to increase that percentage using paraphrasing tools. So first we are going to Quillboot. Just again copy that same content and paste open your Quillboot. I already made uh, many videos with Quillboot. Just to go on to that, just to check that video. So just to click the Quillboot and copy the content. Give paraphrase so you'll get a content paraphrased content using your quill boat just copy that content go all to go on to that a content director just copy that content created using that is paraphrased using quill boat then give analyzed text. So now you can see that 91 percentage is human generated content. Most probably it will contain less plagiarism when compared to the before content that is last content which have generated 40 percentage. So in this content you will get all around 91 percentage. So this is what how you can reduce the A content plagiarism using this kind of tools. So now I have shown using Quillboot. Now you can do the same using paraphrasing tool also. Open your paraphrasing tool. Just to click on the same content. Just you will give you paraphrase. After the content generated the sorry para, paraphrase generated the content. Just to copy that. Go on to AL content director. And you can paste here. You can give analyze text. 
so this is 68 percentage human generated content so likewise you can paraphrase again and again according to the change change in your research article so uh, before paraphrasing so sorry after paraphrasing please go on to check in your grammar grammar check so the grammar check is very very important so when once you check the uh, check it grammatically so you'll get uh, whether it is go it is good or not will go on so like that it will give so accordingly you can change the problems in your content so this is how you can generate content using an ai tool and also find how much plagiarism will be you are getting through this ai tool and also you can reduce that plagiarism that is uh, that plagiarism related with that ai content using this paraphrasing tool so this is a easy method to make your research article without plagiarism uh, so this is a, a easy way to make sure that your research article or project article does not contain any plagiarism so hope this video will be very useful for you so before uh, collecting content from a ai tool just to go on to an ai content director so thereby you can get an idea whether it can be used used to get uh, plagiarism or not so the ai do a generated tool may get plagiarism i am already tell, told in many videos so that thereby you can change that content using this paraphrasing best paraphrasing tools and you can use that content for your research article without plagiarism so thank you for watching our videos to subscribe our channel have a nice day thank you